Hello champions. The topic is method overloading. So see the name uh, in Java, the methods can be overloaded. Means the method, the method name, using the same method name, we can have multiple definitions. For example, there's a method called sum. So sum can be used with variable number of arguments or uh, variables or the parameters or different type of means different number of parameters, different type of parameters or even the written type can be changed or even the access specifiers also can be changed. Only the name will be same, but you may have different type of arguments different number of arguments and different return types and different access modifiers also. Any single difference? Yes, we can overload the method. And Java supports it. It understands each and every method with a, of course, with its separate uh, prototype. Okay, so how it is exactly, let us understand with a small program. So shall we go? Yes. So see here, see the program. So we have a class area and then the variables length and width, we all know it. And there is a method called show area, void show area index int y. Please see there are variables length width, of course, leave it. Show area method, method overloading. Now let's focus on the method. Show area method, it's int x int y. Two parameters. Some, uh, you know, body of this uh, thing is there. Some body is there, leave it. So opening brace and closing brace. And then again, show area with the same method name. Same method name. Same void. But index int y, but there is only one index. So different number of arguments. Yes, it supports. So show area will be considered as two different methods now. Even though the method name is same, Java considers that as two different methods. Show array with two arguments and show array with one argument or show array with index and show array with float x. Different type of arguments, different number of arguments. If it is void, it may be int here. And if it is public, it can be private here. So even the access modifiers also, we can have a different access modifiers and then Java treats it as a separate method. So that, if at all we have n number of methods with the same name, but different number of arguments and different type of arguments, different written type, see the written type and different access modifiers, then of course those methods are treated separately by Java as separate methods. It identifies as separate methods and of course it can access also, of course, you'll we'll understand, okay? So two different methods we have show area. And then, so then the method show area method is opening brace and closing brace and class area is closed. So this class area is closed and class area shape, the main class. Now we all know it in the earlier videos we've done it. So object P is created for the class area. So it allocates memory for length and weight and the show area method there. Okay. Now what will happen now? So of course, you know, a P object, it can access the variables, it can access the methods also. P dot show area five. So how many arguments is arguments are there in the uh, you know function call p dot show area of five only one argument so from here it will go to this one so what is that length is equal to width is equal to x so x is what five so length is equal to width is equal to five and the shape is square with area length into width so five into five which is twenty five it prints the shape is square with area twenty five for the first line p dot show area of five and then four five the so two arguments so two arguments means it will go to two argument method so java identifies like that so variable number of arguments i mean different number of arguments different type of arguments different return type and different access modifiers okay so p dot show area four five so then x is four and y is five so length is four and it is five so the shape is rectangle with area four into five, which is 20. So it prints first of all square with 25 and rectangle with 
20. So it prints on the monitor. So let's check it now. Let's not wait, waste the time. So yes. So see the same program I've uh, copied here. Whatever, see, show array five and show array four five. Let's run it in the online compiler, Java compiler. The shape is square with 25 and the shape is rectangle with 20. So hope it is clear, method overloading, having n number of functionalities with the same name, n number of functions we can have, n number of methods we can have. And if you have with the same name, having n number of methods or functions that is said to be overloaded, you know, the same name show area with uh, two parameters, with one parameter and with different type of parameters, with different printer types, it is said to be overloaded. So that is method overloading. Hope the concept is clear. So keep practicing. Okay, please don't think. I mean, please don't be in imagination all the time. Maths and programming, you should do. Otherwise, you will not get it. So please keep your hands on the your system, your computer. Please do small, small things and it makes a big, big changes. Have a good day, all of you. Bye-bye. See you.